My background is GIS, Geographic Information Systems. GIS is kind of like a video game, which is the coolest thing about my job. You're taking on this, these real life constraints, whether it's wetlands, cultural resources, airports, and putting them into a computer program that you can manipulate and turn on and off and see the relationships. What is once a video game is suddenly a real wind or solar project. When I was a kid, I was maybe a little bit of a nerd. It was a family tradition that every day sit down at dinner time and watch Star Trek. And it's always just been an inspiration to me because when I was looking to get a degree in science or looking to get an internship for the National Weather Service, you know, my mom was like, that's really cool. So science has always just been a big part of my life. And so it's fun to then carry it on in my career, but then also to pay it forward with younger women, any young kids, really. I've gotten involved in the local science museum. I have also gone out and I've toured a wind farm. I have toured a manufacturing plant with kids. It's fun just to drive around and to say, you know, that wind turbine's there, but look at the world around it. As a kid, were you always interested in science? I was, I was. I would go outside and, you know, fly kites, kind of like you guys. Part of mentoring young kids is just introducing the topic to the kids and then asking questions and just getting them excited and understanding the science behind it. I'm a new mom. I have a four-month-old son. I love him dearly and it's really exciting for me to be involved in STEM. My work now is making a cleaner future for my son. This is just going to be a better place for my son and, and for his kids. So as a young girl trying to get involved in STEM, I mean, be nerdy, be yourself. It's fun to be yourself and it's important to be yourself. Science and engineering, it's a good career and it makes a difference.